It's not every day that you're up on top of your dry van, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Stick around, find out. Alright, alright, drive shaft. She got the carrier back. Ooh, all dirty. Drive shaft complete. Got back to tarpon. Or actually strapped. And uh, that's what actually moves up and down and pushes on the spring. Um, those head bolts are probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to get out. And a JD hook. Hey. Oh, that was nice of you. 19765. So that is a wrap. What do you think? You good? Every state is probably going to be different. Good morning, Gaston or Gaston, South Carolina. Yeah, Landstar neighbor and a couple of guys. Oh, they're gone. They had a couple of pneumatic cement trailers, actually. Right there. Let her warm up, air up, and we'll head to our drop. There is no off ramp for where we're going, but this place is right off 26. You just can't get to it. So you gotta. Come down, I was at exit 125, come down to highway or interstate 21, which is right here, and then go up about four miles to the left, and there you are. So, what do we got here? Oh, it's a little marathon. And your buddy from the right, I do not see. Uh, the guys come from the left, though. It's a busy little marathon. Okay. The corner store. Looking at the map yesterday, there's something over there. Something huge. I don't know what they are producing, but it's a big manufacturing operation. And it looks like they cleared out a bunch more field right here, but I don't know how long ago they did that. We have back there to the right of this bro curves. We're going right back towards 26 now. And then we're going to go right parallel with it. Cruise back to the right. And there it is. A couple of warehouses on the right. Good old Google Maps or Apple Maps, whatever. GPS from, the, from above. Let's get there, get this off, give them their dose of eckies. And it's kind of later in the day, it's 9 o'clock right now. Um, oh, like 8.45. But that's the prime time for getting a load. I don't know if I'll just get a load from here and go right back to Florida. Or go, I want to go see the babies in the t of course, but if there's a great load from right here, I might just go right back down, I don't know. We shall see. There's that 26, just no access to it. <laughs> and here is our 15th Street. Zeus outside, I think that's where we're delivering. Uh, let's see. D-A-K Americas, I think that's it. 24 plus an hour, Zeus. If you need a job in Columbia, South Carolina area. Let's just see where trucks enter. We put some nice truck signs up. Uh, it looks like cars because that curve in the middle would be destroyed if it was not. Is it trucks too though? Uh, what do we got here? Employee entrance. Next entrance shipping and receiving. No arrows or nothing, just dots and small writing. Oh, come on. Big old thing, truck entrance that way. <laughs> but all right, we got it. One across the way is not doing much business. Four cars and one trailer. Unless it's on the other side, I don't know. I don't know, I'm just talking. But it's cold, 51 degrees out here. And there's the top of that, whatever's over there. You guys let me know in the, the comments. There's a cement truck coming out right there, but I don't think, maybe that, man, I don't know. Smart Warehousing, okay. 120 15th Street. Let's go. Looks pretty uh, wide open. I don't know if there's, there is two sides. I don't know if we're supposed to go to, wait, you I don't know which side to go to, but it says main office shipping and receiving. Nice big old sign. I love it. Someone did some donuts right there. There you go. A little Hellcat or 392. I don't know. It's cold out there though. 51 degrees. Ooh. Like I said. Should be a, probably a quick unload if there's only one trailer here and no other trucks. But I don't know. We're about a half an hour early.
maybe the third town would be a charm. Uh, they said Beverage South, that's on the other side. <laughs> Didn't see one sign for that, but huge place. Okay, <laughs> let's go, other side. Well, not busy on this side either, just one pretty old trailer. It's about to buckle and one, two trucks, but only sign they have is this tiny one on the last door. <laughs> and it will the trucks. <laughs> All right, hopefully this is a quick unload. There you go. I guess all the fun stuff. Huh? I've got the good All right, thank you. Hope you slept well, Dosakis. It is windy out here. Be careful when you're opening these doors. When I opened this right one, <laughs> swaying right around. I had to grab it and hold it. <laughs> okay, let's get it loaded. 59. He stepped outside and used the porta potty and taking a smoke break, which is all good for me. Whatever gets him uh, feeling good, ready to unload. Let's go. Extremely quick unload. Thank you, bud. Submit that to Truck Smarter for our factoring and get paid by the, probably get paid in an hour, less than an hour. <laughs> but. Yeah, see what we're doing now. I looked at the loads, there wasn't that many, and the rates are way down again, so. More of the same. Ooh, you guys just tilted. I am excited for this uh, new piece of road to open up. It's gonna be a lot nicer. <laughs> All you guys that run 26 a lot. Yeah, first place cement, guys. It's gonna make it a lot nicer. Cruising along, about, uh, I don't know how many miles right now, probably about 60 miles long, 60, 70. Get back there and regroup with T-dubs. I'll we'll probably just leave the truck at the house, have it ready to go, because I want to get one more load. There is, uh, look here on the right, there's those two, I've taken them before, Vitamins going over to the C.H. Robinson Warehouse. Those are both up there. That one was up, uh, when I first looked, when I was getting a load, it didn't, it disappeared. Now, now there's two up, so. Somebody must have fell off it or something, I don't know. But we'll see if we get one of those, because I gotta be back home Saturday and get some rest. Sunday we got a pretty uh, pretty cool collab going on. It's gonna be fun. Something I've never done before and uh, someone I've never met before uh, in person. So it's a good thing it's just truckers helping truckers out. This person reached out and said, hey man, I can help you. Seems like a really good good guy that's been just raised right and uh, knows what to do right by the people that'll do right to him. So that's pretty pretty rare these days and uh, in friends and people you meet. So I look forward to that on Sunday. Everything goes well. Things can change, but we might be going there. So I can't really take a weekend load over the weekend to Florida because, um, yeah, it's some point Sunday. So I get something by like Thursday, Friday, can be home Saturday if I get anything and uh, be prepared for that Sunday. So, all right, that new road, uh, they're doing some kind of sealing to it. It's called, I think the company's called SAG, S-A-G. I don't know if it's like a coating or sealing or a prevention measure or what they're doing, but they have these big old tanker trucks that look expensive. And they were back there at the beginning of this doing something still, so. Who knows, but they're getting ready, getting it done. A heck of a barrier there in the middle. And South Carolina taxpayer dollars are actually uh, making the roads. There you go. There goes cement truck. Let's get back home. Got the hood up on a day cab pulling a container. or something or I don't know why they popped the hood but maybe they want to see something in there. But we're just cruising on these bouncy roads but they're working on getting these re redone too. Got kind of them like right here is a nice little patch. It's been redone but yeah. But teasing piece of the way station. My goodness it is windy out here. And I want to give a huge shout out to Michael Biggs. Thank you so much man. He uh, emailed me. He found the right here on the left found the parts I need for those sleeper vents. $280 a piece. I was like, man, $1,200 in vents, but yeah, I gotta have them. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fiberglass up that upper AC unit and the four new vents. I want that sleeper airtight to just preserve that awesome interior that's in there. So we'll be doing that right off the bat. We'll be spending about 3,000 on a, a grill and some vents and fiberglass won't be that expensive. Just takes some, some time, a couple of coats, three coats, four coats. And, Get it where it was before, and then uh, it should be all sealed up and tight for now. Then we'll get to work on that motor. But I want to have that cap. I want to secure that little time capsule uh, up 
on that sleeper. So, and the grill, I'm waiting eight, uh, eighth or ninth in line, anyways, for the grills around. <laughs> so, oh yeah, well, yeah. Thanks a lot, Michael Banks, for those parts. And if, if you guys look up that part number to T25, if anybody has a, a connection or knows where there's someone with surplus of those hanging around, let me know if you can beat 280. Otherwise, I'm gonna order them here pretty soon. Thank you again, Michael. Home sweet home, and man, is it cold. Oh, the minivan just hit 173,000 miles even, 173,000. Oh, yeah. At about 12 noon on Wednesday. What is it, the 5th? So that right there, that little blue building down there, I don't know what that guy was thinking pulling in there. If that's just an update, he took a, took down all the uh, internet wires and stuff, phone wires. <laughs> if you watched a couple previews, oh, I think it was like three videos ago. But, oh, yeah. Cold when it's windy. It's supposed to be down to 37 this weekend. Oh my goodness. We were like 82 degrees down there in Florida. Oh yeah. Let's get home, check on Dubs and uh, little boy Kylan, and then yeah, back to work. Hopefully, maybe we'll get something today. Maybe we'll get something uh, tomorrow, but I need to be free for Saturday, so we'll see. All right, let's get home. Beautiful day, just woo. It's a little cold wind big like community garage sale this weekend also so t has been asking me all this stuff she can get rid of and I said whatever you want just not my toys <laughs> I guess a motorcycle I rock the monster truck or red wheels I love red wheels my favorite if you don't know I call my minivan red wheels oh yeah a very narrow road here it's one thing I wish that they uh would have done better to make a little bit maybe like another car length wider but whatever Maybe they had to squeeze in the park behind, I don't know. But let's park this thing. Uh, the load boards are, I don't know what happened. They look they looked bad early this morning. They look even worse now. Like there's like four loads within maybe 50 to 60 miles, and it starts going out to Charlotte and Gaffney and towards Atlanta. So huh. I don't know. We'll see. We'll pray for the best and yeah. Hi Bubba. How you doing? I like your birthday shirt. Oh, look what else showed up. We got the green APU update. Hey, Thanks, green APU. Uh, you want to start? He hasn't been starting in a while. Make sure the green light's on. Green light. I like that mohawk today, man. That thing's killer. Is it? All right, you can rock it. Uh-oh, stereo down. So we got battery juice because we haven't had battery in a while. I haven't ridden that thing in a while. Go ahead. Okay, guys, yeah, this is our, our tube for our exhaust to be quieter. Thanks a lot, Green APU, plus our new air box. Oh, man. Good job. Thanks for doing that, dude. You run a little fuel through it. it smells like coconuts in here. Pina colada. And these are my new coconuts. My new LED whips for the uh, top of the mirrors. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Green APU. Appreciate you. I give you full instructions on the air intake and exactly what to do. And then there is our new exhaust. So just by diverting it like that, like I talked about, if you didn't watch the truck so videos, 30% uh, quieter with just moving the exhaust to the other side of the uh, unit, which is awesome. So they get a little slit in there for you. Add some clamps to go ahead and mount it up. Heck yeah. Put that on. Get even quieter. Appreciate you, Green APU. And man, it's cold out there. I can't keep saying that, but it's like... The wind is chilly. <laughs> now Kylan is headed to the store with a neighbor. <laughs> He's like, can I go with you? She's gonna get milk and stuff. All right, let's go see what Dubs is doing. Hi, Murphy Murph. Hello. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, I see you, Tiggs. Yes, I see you. I see you, baby. What's up, boy? Whoa. You been good? You gonna have fun? Was a pretty boy. You too, Murph. Yes, yes. I miss you guys. Oh, gosh, gosh, gosh. Come here, Bubba. What's up? Hi. What's, what's in that box? Uh, oh, we got boxes everywhere. Green APU sent us a little update kit. I know. Heck yeah. House looks beautiful. Thank you. All right. Teeks, I got you, buddy. 
added another terrific kid. Awesome. Uh, Casey got one too. I just can't find a sticker. It's in his book bag somewhere. So I'll get that. Uh, I'm going to go to the gym real quick because I've been slacking. Oh, T-Dub's got it all done. I like it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's go hit the gym a little bit. And uh, speaking of those ter terrific kids, here's their pictures. Kaysen and Cash, well done, boys. Very, very proud of you. And they, Cash got his A on a roll, and Kaysen got his AB on a roll. Very, very proud. I don't think I did that good in school back then. Let's go. Back from the gym, I think I'm gonna go wash that thing, even though it's windy, and that sprayer will get all over me. But I need to go to the truck. I might do a whole video dedicated to that green APU tomorrow. At least put those whips on. Um, so I have those lights back. Let's see what the boys are doing. Hello. Well, I'll take you. I have the left for two seconds, buddy. I know. Um, where did your sons go? Oh, okay. Bathroom time. All right. Who's donuts? Oh, yummy. Did you find that terrific kid sticker? Yes, sir. Oh, nice. Did Casey sign it? Tiki. Oh, my goodness. I'll hold you, buddy. Okay, I just left for two seconds. I know they're just stickers, Tiki, but they make me happy. Make me very proud. Okay. There you are. Very proud of you, buddy. So I said, Cash, did you draw that? Or his mom didn't. He said, no, my friend Mateo. <laughs> That's nice of your friend Mateo. Did you tell him about him being on the news tomorrow? Yes, we know he's going to be on the news tomorrow. It's going to be awesome. He's going to be on well, the morning. School news, but... school news because... He accidentally got A, B on a roll, and he, he was... He got an A, B award, but he got A on a roll. Yes. Yes, he got Miss so. Boggs was like, I will make a special like, oh, announcement. So she really wanted to make a special announcement. And thank you, Uncle Robbie and Ed Denise from next door. They got us donuts for our straight A's. Yes. We don't need enough donuts, Cheeky. Never. Good job, buddy. I'm proud of you. I think we'll go play with these. I'm pretty sure, and I'm praying that was just three wires... I think it is though, but they've packaged these real nice and they did an upgraded design. The uh, outer film that was over the whole thing, the other one was kind of just one loose thing. This one's like heat shrinked. So I guess they learned from what happened with those. They do give you some like uh, flags and stuff. I have these inside my truck. It's pretty, it looks like an excavator. What? Heck yeah. And I'm gonna blow out my trailer and I might get up there and put more of that stuff on top just until I get it fully repaired from uh, Southeast Trailer Mart. Does it? Yeah, yeah. I don't gotta put these on. I'll teach you what I guys did. What I did when I put these on. You gotta drill out the mirrors to be that big. Got it? Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Kyle? Ice cream party. Yes, ice cream party. It's cold outside. You guys are eating ice cream. Go figure. Let's get to the truck. Got my casein with me, and maybe my tiki. We are going to go ahead and uh, yeah, just patch up the top of the trailer with the ladder. Put these new lights on and close this truck? video. Where's the big truck? The new truck, I have to go to get it, dude. I have to drive really far and go get it and bring it back. Florida. Right. How would you like that video then? I was in Florida on Monday. <laughs> All right, let's get these things out. Thanks for helping me clean it out, dude. You got the one giant stick? Yeah. All right. Good job, Case. Shouldn't be leaking for a while. Okay. Thanks for helping me, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, we are up here, 13 feet, six inches. Oof. Yeah, let's get this done. Thanks a lot. Oh my goodness. Stuff is lifesaver. I actually just reached my hand up there and like flipped that up there. I could barely get one down. No surprise, it's still there. All right, we'll rip that off, get some new ones on there. I'm gonna bend that down a little bit. Got her as flat as I could get her. There you go. Kind of press around. The edges first. Get it to seal. Nice and good. This stuff is potent though. Just ripping that one off, I had to put a lot of force. <laughs> good stuff for $18. Alright, let's get these done. That is done. 16 foot ladder. A little bit sketchy at top. Oof, not, I don't like heights. But uh, that should be good for now. I put one more piece in the front of the strip going this way just to kind of wind and rain anything else. But let's go do those whips now. Let's enjoy our uh, rest of our Thursday. So these ones came with the flags already mounted, which is pretty cool. I'm going to leave this one on here. I'm just going to replace this one because the other one still works. But you can kind of see. 
I cut it back, but um, the little black connector down there just let go behind that uh, black piece. So hopefully these ones last a little bit longer. But hey, we'll let the flags fly. That's kind of cool. I like it. And this is my uh, what I was worried about. Four, three. <laughs> of course, it's not easy. All right, but that flag looks cool. Oh, ticky ticky came along. Okay. So yeah, the reason it wasn't working because there's a little battery thing. There you go. Now push the buttons. You got all kinds of crazy. Yay! There you go. I was doing like I like the white strobe. That was cool. Oh, this one. Uh, yeah, that was cool. <laughs> God does that. It's gonna look cool at night. Those flags are cool. Brightness and darkness. Yeah. That's gonna look really cool that night. Which one do you like? Ooh. <laughs> the wild colors. Okay. I don't know if I'll leave the flags, but it is pretty cool. Yeah, the flags are I like the rainbow. Yeah? I'll keep it. Alright. Okay, let's turn it off now. Alright. Go ahead and turn it off. <laughs> tag. You're it. Gotcha. No tag backs. <laughs> tag! You're it! <laughs> Oh, there's so many cool. These are definitely coolers. They're like eighty dollars, guys. But these uh, newer ones, yeah, they got some cool stuff to them. Or you can just go straight white, which is awesome. Well, we're gonna go with the orange, like it matched the uh, truck. All right, you're it. No tag bags. No, there's no tag bags. <laughs> but on that note, guys, God bless you. Thanks for hanging out with me today. These ones came with the flags already on them. We'll see you on the next one.